This is going to be uh, about how to correctly put your halter on your horse and how to use what's what's the you know the purpose of your lead rope. Okay. All right. So you can see here that I've got my lead rope around her neck. Uh, it's it, this is so important, especially with a horse that, that's not going to stand still while you get your halter ready uh, to put on her. You need to get that lead rope around your horse's neck and uh, so that your horse feels caught, okay? All right. Now, a big mistake that people make is, I'm going to keep this around her neck because she will leave us, uh, is that... They tried to put the halter on in the front, and you can see how she's just walking over me. And boy, if a horse gets really fast or that adrenaline gets up to a 10, you could get hurt. And, and plus, you're, just, you're not going to ever get it on. It's just not going to happen. Uh, luckily, you see, I mean, I'll see, we'll, we'll pretend like the lead rope's not on there, and people will, will stand out here, and they'll undo the knot here, and by the time they finally get it done, you know, the horse is already starting to walk away. And the next thing is, uh, of course, a lot of, for some reason, they, people think that they need to put it on in the front. But the place to put it on is on the left side. Stand between the horse's shoulder and its jaw here, and you're in a safe position. And then you're able to undo your halter while holding this in your hand. You can get everything ready. You don't have to get in a hurry. And then you take the long part of the halter right here, and you just take this and throw it over and grab it there. Try not to hit yourself in the head. Now, sometimes you don't have to do that like a short horse like this. I could have just reached over and grabbed it. But anyway, now I'm going to take the uh, heads, the halter, and I'm going to scoop up the nose here. And then I bring this part of the halter over, stick it through the loop. Still got my lead rope here. Got my horse standing still. And then the knot, I'm going to take it right between uh, the loop here and this knot. I'm going to go right in between there. We always say go towards the eye. And then I'm going to bring it back through this big loop. See, now when I go towards the eye, I got this big loop right here. And I'm just going to push it right in between that loop. Make sure that everything's even and your rope is not, you know, crossing over on, a, on the other side. Okay, so you want to make sure that this is flat and it's not looped over on the other one, on the other side. Get that flat and then push it together and there you go. Now, occasionally it might loosen. Oh, let me show you what you don't want to do when tying this off. Uh, most of the time, and I would say 90% of the time, people don't go between the knot and this loop. They go on top of the loop like that. Now it's tied off up here. And... The problem with this is that it's going to loosen up. You're going to have a hard time keeping it uh, tight. This will, because it, you know, there's nothing here to stop it, and this is going to slide eventually. You can see how it comes loose. So you don't want to tie it off on the top above above this loop right here. Okay, so let's undo this. Okay, here's your loop. And uh, one other thing, make sure that your knot right down here, this knot underneath the throat latch is right in the center of the throat latch. Okay? And also, make sure that you don't leave your halter here. You want to pull that halter. You can see there's kind of a dent 
right there on the horses on the front right here you want that halter setting right in there and then and then I'm going to go back towards the eye go in between the loop and the knot and then I'm going to go through this big loop that I've got on the other side all right let's pull that tight make sure everything is flat when I say flat, I mean both of these, this part of the uh, halter is laying flat and not on top of each other. Okay? All right, cool. Okay. Uh, so with your lead rope, this is your tool. This is a very important tool, and it's your extension from your arm to your horse. It's your communication from that, that you're going to use that's always going to be about pressure and release of pressure. Not about how hard you can jerk your horse or anything like that. It's just about the pressure <coughs> and the release of pressure is going to be your communication on what you're asking your horse to do. Now, it's also for driving your horse and disengaging your horse. Uh, now, this is the part where a lot of people struggle is they they want to hold it like this and same thing with your reins you know they want to you want to people are always wanting to do this this is incorrect this is not how you want to do it uh, if that horse was to pull on me really quick they can pull that through my hand and also it's going to burn my hand so I want to turn my hand I want to put it across my thumb and this is how I want to hold it. It's going across my palm, across my fingers, like so. And then I'm going to use my fingers to twirl it, see, like this right here. Okay? Then I can let, if I need, if I need more lead rope, I can let it out. If I need to take it up, I can just easily slide it through my hands. All right? Now, the next mistake that people make is when they swing their lead rope, they're swinging it backwards like this okay now the problem with that is that when we're swinging our lead rope the purpose of it is to get the horse to move forward or to yield from us when we're going forward our body is also going to be leaning forward and that's applying the energy that's telling the horse to move away from you to yield or to move forward <coughs> If we swing it like this, now our back is back like this. And that's and now we're taking the pressure off the horse. Okay? Alright, cool. So so just to recap, make sure that at the start you put your lead rope over the horse's neck before you even put your halter on. Then put your halter on. Make sure that when tying it off that you don't put it above this loop here and and make sure that this knot is right in the center of the and then make sure that uh, right here on the front that it's in between this little dent area right here and not down here right down here he's very sensitive your horse is sensitive and it'll cut off his airflow and uh, so you want to keep it up here and then on your lead rope, make sure you got it across your fingers, across your thumb, and then across your fingers. And you just use basically your wrist to, to move the lead rope forward. And you want to lean, you want to swing your lead rope forward, not backwards. Okay? All right, great. We'll see you at the next one.